Hey guys, I'm the Hacksmith, and we take fictional ideas from comics, movies, and video games and make real working prototypes. It's called Make It Real. We've made Captain America's electromagnet shield, Batman's grappling hook gun, Psylocke's psionic energy sword, Reinhardt's rocket hammer from Overwatch, and even an exoskeleton from Call of Duty, just to name a few. But one of our first projects was Wolverine's claws, and since Logan just came out, we decided to revisit it with a few upgrades. I originally designed and built them at a machine shop during an internship I had. And if you want to see more, the original video is linked below. We tested them out by catching 50 pound hay bales, a suitable replacement for bad guys. But then, I got creative. What would happen if we electrified them? Using a high voltage transformer, we had some fun, and gained a bit of notoriety online. But today, we're upping the ante. More electricity, and I'm wearing them. Big shout out to Custom Craft Leather, who hooked me up with this awesome custom fit Wolverine jacket. Alright, so how are we going to do this? We're actually going to use a car battery and we're going to short it using the claws. Now I know you think that shorting a car battery is actually bad for it, but in this case it's not that bad. These car batteries are designed to put out over a thousand amps when you're starting a vehicle. And sparks? Well, it's usually under a couple hundred amps. Not to mention this wire is only rated for 200 amps, so technically it would melt before we'd actually start hurting this battery. That being said, don't try this with your parents' car battery. They need that. All right, so for the first test, we're only gonna use one set of claws. We're gonna connect the negative lead of the battery straight to the welding table. Now we're gonna connect the positive lead into the Wolverine claws. But we have to take it off the table first. <laughs> now, if we touch these Wolverine claws to the table, we're gonna complete a short circuit with the battery resulting in lots of sparks. <laughs> All right, let's try that again in slow motion and see what's really happening. Now this is actually damaging the claws because those sparks you see are actually tiny bits of superheated metal coming off the claws and the table itself. So we are damaging the tips of this, but we can always just make another pair. But that being said, it's totally worth it because it is so cool. All right, enough of that. Let's try putting both claws on and see what happens. Unplug the table and plug in the second claw. Caution, these are live. So how deadly are these? It only takes about 10 milliamps across the heart to electrocute someone. 
we're pumping a few hundred amps to these. So you might be asking, why haven't I fried myself yet? Well, luckily human skin is very resilient to DC voltage, especially low voltage like 12 volts. But if I was to stab someone like this, I'd electrocute them. They'd also die from multiple stab wounds. Man, I'm thirsty. Hmm. All right, hope you enjoyed the video. We had a ton of fun with these, and we do all kinds of cool stuff like this on the channel all the time. You should totally check out our other Make It Real projects, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notify bell to make sure you're notified as soon as we do another project. Thanks for watching.